Justin Trudeau uh-huh. was a drama teacher yeah. and he did he one of his students Justin Trudeau he was criticizing negatively Pierre Olivier Ooh. by saying oh you're a lifelong politician what do you know about life outside the, the halls of politics Olivier is like yes it's true I've been a politician a servant to this country for all my life yeah. I know you were a drama teacher but you had to quit I just can't remember oh. why and then black guy showed up behind oh. him and be like oh <laughs> Oh, 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 my drop! <laughs> I was a high school teacher before getting into politics, and I'm having a little trouble remembering what exactly the job that the leader of the opposition had before getting into politics. <laughs> yes, and he left right in the middle of the semester, and I'm having trouble remembering why. <laughs> Hey, hey, wow, look at us, Gabe. Standing up on a podcast. Standing up on a podcast. We're going to be the standing up podcast. Yeah, I don't mind. We're going to give it a try. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining. We're about, probably when this podcast comes out, we're going to be at 6,000. 6,000 subscribers 6, on YouTube. 6,000, guys. So. Mm-hmm. And also, we I think we almost have 50, uh, maybe is it 55 star reviews on Spotify? 50? About 50, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, really good. Yeah, give us five stars, guys, on uh, Spotify. Spotify, yeah. And, and, uh, and comments. Subscribe, and, like, uh, yeah. subscribe. Because 55 stars, that's a lot. That's pretty good. Yeah? I mean, no, no. who the hell? Uh, who, I <laughs> never clicked on Spotify ever in my life. <laughs> I never rated anything on I Spotify. Never, I never. I never. I'm always like, uh, I listen to the music. Yeah. And I always rate it bad. But, but the, guys, let us know where you guys are listening on the podcast. Yeah. And you, on the YouTube page. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where are you listening? <laughs> or or on the other apps. Yeah. All right. Enough corporate stuff. Hi, yeah. Gabe. Hey, how's it going? You well, look good. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah, look at us. I went to the gym yesterday. Whoa. I feel like the gym is just... Uh, all I do at the gym is is look at naked people. That's Isn't it the best? Well, it's it's weird. It's not the best. No, no, no. no. I'm not looking at I'm looking at naked guys. Ah, uh, well, that's not the best <laughs> at all. A, I was on the, the that's elliptical. That's not the best at all. I was, I was on oh. the I was on the elliptical. Love that machine. I'll, so this elliptical, yeah, is, is naked. You have to be on it naked. I have to be on it naked. Yeah. No, but this. So there's like for some reason there's like ten ellipticals all facing the normal way like yeah. into the gym, and then there's one elliptical facing outside of a window. Oh, that's yeah, great! Yeah, but it's like I'm on like the fourth floor. Yeah, so I'm looking down. I see all all the Jews running around oh. buying baguettes and stuff because it's Park Avenue, you know. Mm, yeah. And then there's a whole building building a tunnel. <laughs> yeah, building a tunnel. There's a whole building filled with just people living their lives, and they don't know if anyone's watching because across from them isn't anything. It's not Whoa. like there's another apartment building. It's a YMCA, and and they they just they don't see anybody. There's no so they just they live their lives completely naked in front oh, of that it's building. Like OG TV. Yeah. I'm looking. I saw a big, fat, naked guy get out of bed. Whoa. Yeah. I'm I, sorry. I didn't know you were okay. walking outside the window. It's <laughs> oh, crazy. Dude. It's like, ch- and uh, let's say you don't like, like, oh, a naked guy. And then you just look at another level. It's like changing channels. Yeah. yeah. To find a channel. Like, all right. Not bad. Yeah. Th- Ooh. Yeah. Sci-fi. <laughs> Murder. I'm like, ooh, I like this channel. It's a sci-fi. Oh, man. I said something bad in the first five minutes. What did you I'm say? such a bad boy. Oh, just. Oh, wait. No, you have to make. On the dance floor, Ooh. you better not. Move, yeah, DJ. <laughs> it's a song, everybody. Yeah. I love LGBTQ. Yeah, I also noticed that a lot of Jewish storefronts are like secret, like they don't want anyone else walking in, right? Like there's like let's say there's like a grocery. There's like, okay across from the YMCA, say there's a um a, a nice Italian cafe. It's called yeah. like Felice. It's really good. Before I got a Keurig, I used to go there all the time. But next to that, there's like a boarded up window. I noticed just like board, like not boarded up, but there's like a window and there's like paper covering the windows. Kind of like you know, like yeah, like, like they're not Arab or anything like you. With you, you do it. Yeah. it it's because they're you like, sleep. yeah, you want to yeah. sleep. They're not. There's a whole grocery store oh, wow. going on. You, I see a, a, bun- a bunch of Hasidic Jews walk in and they leave with groceries, and I'm like, what? Oh. And they don't want anyone else walking just in. Bagels. Yeah, just bagels. Imagine you walk in, it's just yeah. mountains of bagels. Yeah. Well, I wonder why they don't want other people walking in. But it's 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 open. It's open. And you saw th- people come in and come I, out. All down Park Avenue is like that. They have like maybe super, super laundry mat. Maybe Jews. <laughs> maybe they, they they listen, <laughs> what did we find on the past month? <laughs> They, they they like to build tunnels. They build yeah. the pyramids. They it's all pyramids. tunnels. Yeah, it's my all my favorite tunnel. My favorite Jewish tunnels. Yeah, they board up their uh, you know their stores. Maybe they're like, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they, they don't want us in there. But it's fine. Have you tried? I've never tried. Oh, would Dude. that be a good video? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because there are some. There's a lot of Jewish businesses that are open. Yeah, like Chesky's is a good bakery. Yeah, in uh, is it kosher? 
Yeah, uh, it's bakery. I don't know. Okay. Do is there meat in bakery? It's I don't know the rules. Oh, yeah, completely. I don't know. But, but it's I good. Know it's, they, they have specific. I think it's called kashrut rules. Yeah. And uh, I had babka. It's, they're very straight. Uh, they're yeah. very strict. They're very straight. They're ve- oh, and also very straight. <laughs> but they're very strict. Yeah. Like yeah. to obey kosher rules is, is some rules make sense about things that are not supposed to. Yeah, be. yeah, yeah. Like if you put a if you if you cook vegetables on a uh, on a I don't know not a stove on a on a hot uh, oh. flame no gas electricity uh, oh barbecue no you flip eggs in it oh frying pan frying pan I should stop using words that I, from a compartment of the world that I don't know what frying pan <laughs> I don't I never cook. But you frying pan, that's all you do is flip eggs. Yeah, but I don't, no, I don't, I boil my eggs. You boil eggs? Yeah, and oh. m- my other meals, I just buy them or I get them for free. But you said I have to stop using words from a part of the world that I don't understand. Like a part of excite, part of life that is not. Oh, oh okay. You know what I mean? You don't do surgery metaphors. Mm, or, you know no, I mean? but I. What do you know <laughs> of the surgery world? You know, scalpel? I know, but this is totally different. It'd be like no, saying. But yeah, but for, it's not my. <laughs> okay, yeah, so yeah. I don't go to. Listen, I don't belong in the kitchen. I don't know if women belong in the kitchen. I know I don't belong in the kitchen. I think you do. Yeah. The kitchen's nice. You like cooking. Uh, sort of. Like, I'm not good at meal prep. Like, I'm not good at all meal prep. You're not supposed to meal prep. Yeah, you're supposed to. If you're No, no, you're not supposed to. No why? one meal preps. Then no one's going to cook. No, people cook. Yeah. They just don't cook as much. Yeah. You're supposed to cook as much as you cook. Uh, but then no one's going to cook. You're going to be like, oh, sh- gotta, uh, okay, I got to get to the show. So, I got to do, huh? But you eat every day. I can see you're fat. Yeah. You eat. Yeah, it's because of meal prep. Oh, you meal prep. But yeah. How, well, how come you're not good at it then? How come you think you're not good at it? Because Claire does it. Okay, then let her meal prep. But I want to meal prep sometimes. All the load but is on her. you don't like meal prepping. It's not that I'm not, I don't, I'm not good at time management is the thing. Okay. Yeah. So. Or you're as good as you want to be to be this happy. Uh, Imagine you were more better at time management, but you were like, ugh, ugh, time management. Like, you don't think about it. I think about it. Yeah? You just bit. feel bad about it. Feel bad about it? This feels like a therapy. <laughs> and why am I looking here as if there's a crowd? <laughs> No, you know no. What I mean, but I'm gonna get better at it. I think it's it's a good, it's a good it's a good thing to have, you know. Time management. Yeah, especially like yeah. meal prep. Yeah, it's overrated. I have to have it. Listen, if you're happy at the level you are, well, just be happy. Okay. Yeah. If you're not happy at the level you are, do something about it. Yeah. Because you're happy. I, I hang out with you sometimes. You're not a sad po- person. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. no. But that's like it was Friday night, you know. <laughs> it's like woo fun yeah, but we're working i know but that's fun it's friday night it's all exciting during the week it's like oh my god i see um, it's a it's a wednesday <laughs> i see it. yeah good. well it's fun we're working it's exciting <coughs> i wish i you know like i love not not that i love doing it but like i always ruin Cl- claire's sneezes you want to ruin her i sneeze? always end up ruining her. she's always like this like because her sneeze you know you do like this uh, you put your hand to your nose and we're like uh, uh, yeah. kind of like that it looked like you were gonna sneeze when claire sneezes she's like <laughs> and I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> like, it looked like she has, like, a seizure going on. And I'm like, are you fine? And she's like, you ruined the sneeze. And I'm like, oh. You ruined the sneeze. Because I get it. If I have a sneeze and you and I. Does she take her revenge? She's like, I'm about to come. <laughs> yeah. She, I come on the bird. She, <laughs> yeah. The bird has to come. Mm. With its wing. Wing. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, oh, Gabriel. No. No, oh, just no. Don't ruin the sneeze. Don't, you know. Don't. Here's a. I think it comes from you know like when you every, every, like the only time that I'm like I want to choke someone mm. is actually it's like second thing is when you're driving next to a girl and she goes. <gasps> yeah. Like, oh, I hate what? that. Oh, it's the Look worst. Look at the puppy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> my whole system went to like, <laughs> <laughs> like race car. What? I hate that yeah. so it brings me so much anger. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, I do that. I, I actually I do that. I actually go, Oh my god! She's like, What? It's uh the new Superman movie's coming out <laughs> or something, you know? She drives? No, but uh just in life, you know, we're walking. Oh. Uh question for you. How do you feel about being in a car and the, your woman is driving and you're sitting in the girl seat? Uh, it doesn't really happen that often. The only time it happened, I was like really sick. I had like yeah. the flu. Yeah. And I, 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 in case of emergency, a woman should drive. I remember, and it See? was, 
I'm and it was kind of like far. Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm yeah open. in case of in case of emergency, yeah. women are let to die. It was weird. Like I didn't have the flu, yeah. and then we drove like kind of like an I think like an hour away. Yeah, and then I got the flu in the middle of the day, which is so weird. Like all of a sudden, you're like, mm. yeah, like, it was just it was just like oh g- yeah, it was no ticklish. No, nothing. it was like oh, I feel so bad. She's like, <sighs> what? What? How, how? Like all of a sudden, and then she had to just drive home. Whoa. And it was there was like, no transition period. No. Your body's efficient. It was weird. It was, it was yeah. Like I'm gonna feel bad. Mm, nah. Yeah, there was no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there was. Do no you have diarrhea often? Uh, no, not really. No. Do you shit your pants often? Never ever. Okay, so all. there's a transient period and other things, not just because okay, just because yeah. like oh I want I want to. It's yeah. not like. But it's I never had flu flu flu, <laughs> flu symptoms like that really. Are you having it now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm burping. I had chili <laughs> meal prep. <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so good. I love chili. I'm a chili guy, man. That's the beans and the sauce, right? Beans. It's beans, meat, sauce. Give your recipe, Gabe. It's Claire's recipe. It's, uh, it's British. It's British chili. So we we got black beans. We got it's kidney chili. beans. We got uh, ground beef, and we got uh, tomato, diced tomato, and crushed tomato. And that's it's it. not British at all. Is it spicy? Yeah. Okay, that's what. Is it spicy? Yeah. Like, yeah, a little spicy. British. Put some peppers have in there. Been evolving. It's just regular chili, like chili as in like a every chili since the beginning of time chili. I thought it was like a British uh, chili. And I don't know about British chili. It's just British. Yeah, I don't know about British British chili. Woo! This is this is not weird standing up, but I'm. Uh, it feels like I'm uh, working out. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my sport, guys. <laughs> it feels like I'm working. I'm gonna lose a couple of pounds. I'm gonna start <laughs> yeah. by standing up, dude. I realized literally standing up is my only job. Yeah. Like I want to headline more, so I'm getting trying to yeah. get more headlining spots. Yeah, yeah. So you. But need then I, I'm doing 25 minutes, and I'm like, hey. you gotta move but around. But that I'm like, I look at my posture, and it's like, hey, everybody, <laughs> this just like a, a grandpa talking to kids. Hi, and they're like, Ugh. it's weird because they're all they're down there, right? Yeah. If you're on, if you're on a stage, and so you're looking down at them the whole time, but it doesn't look good on a camera. On a camera, it looks like you're just like your neck, your back. So, yeah. but how do you, how do people in specials do it? Because in a well, special. Well, first of all, they're not doing a special in front of 30 people. <laughs> yeah, it's true. They're like, when you're doing Hello. 30 people, you're like, hi, <laughs> over everyone. <laughs> you know, when you're doing, I guess yeah. you have to, like, hey, I'm talking to <laughs> blackness, not <laughs> yeah. because it's black. You know what I mean? Like, you're talking to complete. No, it's darkness. urban night. Yeah. It's urban night. It's urban night. Exactly. The bigger you get, the uh, more urban. So you got to talk to everyone. Yo. <laughs> Yo, my gangsters. My gangsters. So blackness. Oh, that's funny. Talking about blackness. What? I watch Boys in the Hood. Oh, yeah? Yes. Boys in the, With uh, Ice. No, who's in that? With a bunch of black actors. Most yeah. of them became famous. Yeah. It's good. I've never it's seen it. Excellent. I think every, every person. Because here's the thing. You know me. Like when. Mm. You know, I guess uh, around the uh, around the D Day, I tried to watch Schindler's List. Yeah, because I'm like, you know, I make so many jokes about yeah, Jews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just remind myself. Yeah, what's wha- up, what's like all the, about the darkness of life that they lived, yeah. so I can empathize as much as you want. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, it's Black History Month. I've done so many jokes about blacks. I'm like, I should let's yeah. like, let's try. Yeah, like for example, I watch. Uh, tw- uh, What's the name of the movie? Twelve Box of Slaves. Not twelve. Twelve bo- Black Slaves. It's not twelve box. Oh God, they didn't put them in boxes, Gabe. I said twelve Black Slaves. Ah, uh, t- twelve Black Slaves. Yeah. Okay. No, the first one. Uh, uh the bo- the boat one. Oh, uh, ba- Baba Duke or whatever. What's it called? Baba Duke. No. <laughs> what's it? What's it called? Ruins or no? It, it's, uh, my, it's my brain is. Oh. It's it, it's like Imhotep or what? What is it called? <laughs> the name of the boat, right? You told me about it. It's like uh, Ma- Marmaduke. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to say the mummy, right? The mummy. <laughs> the mummy. The that's, mummy. that's the movie you're talking and about. And Jemima's on <laughs> on Medea. Medea on the loose. Oh, Amistad. 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 I see, Babadook sounds close. So, <laughs> I watch Amistad when I was like 30. No, <laughs> Babadook is a horror movie. So I watch Amistad, and it was great. Yeah. And uh, it shocked me. Is it an old movie? It's an old movie. How does the CGI? Is there like There's no CGI. It's uh. just black people suffering. <laughs> There's no need for CGI. Like, hey, just make them suffer on a boat. <laughs> oh, my God. And then you, you're you like, this is insane. This yeah. is how, you know, this is. Damn. How yeah, I didn't know it? about slavery. And then you watch this. Was it a long movie? It's, I just, there's things you remember that just, like, I remember, oh, this is so depressing. There's a, there's a mom. Yeah. She's holding her daughter. Yeah. And they're on the boat. And she's like, she looks around. She's like, oh, I'm, this is the end of the world. Like, yeah. the, the, 
I, there's no way. So she just jumps in the water. And it was not like, ah, and she just goes like, it's just a defeated, just. And yeah. Then, she Whoa. Herself, oh. And you watch, and she's holding her son. Yeah. I think we literally have a clip of this exact conversation right now. Yeah? Yeah. Cause I, that's I, how much it shocked me. That Because I remember what I responded with was, which is my instincts right now, was me talking about in Titanic when they jumped off the boat and the guy on top. <laughs> that's that your ju- white people. <laughs> that's my white. That's your white people's Amistad. Yeah, that's Babadook. Titanic. Yeah, yeah Amistad. <laughs> <That's, 'cause, laughs> look at the white people dying. <laughs> like you don't care about slavery. No, no, look I care. Look at the rich white no but white there, there was poor <laughs> white people there was a poor no, no it was there even was even the poorest i'm pretty sure but they were, were dancing in the By galleries the way, you, you would be the poorest you're not poor oh yeah but you would be in the it's where true. you would be in with leonardo yeah <laughs> dancing all hot yeah, yeah you're not with the uh, with know, all the italians and exactly shit. Well, you're yeah. not with the one percent no it was a it, it, it showcased yeah. the world back then you had the i don't think they were poor class i think they were middle class yeah Yet it's still a boat ride across the atlantic it's true it's not cheap but why yeah, it's true why would they let poor people on that boat at all because you could just it's 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 society oh society is not communist you have people who want the luxuries yeah. of luxurist and some people are like i just want to go there yeah so okay how much you want okay is it, this is all i have i really i don't think they were poor no, no, no. i love that movie you would be as i said on that yeah, yeah 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 that movie's great. Uh, not Titanic? because, yeah, not because of the, the stories, whatever. It's just James Cameron is amazing. Yeah, James Cameron is is like probably like one of the mo- like most sm- not smartest, most guys with balls in like Hollywood. Let's say I don't know anything about Hollywood, but like he didn't get paid for this movie. He was like, oh, I'm putting all the risk on this movie. Everything he's ever made, just, he put on the risk in this film. I just remembered us having this exact really. <laughs> Because my initial thought is like, well, that's how you know he's not a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> a Jew, find what he's good at, and he makes sure to make a living with it. Yeah. But whatever. He, he was like, yeah, yeah whatever. So, but yeah, so he, I, he never I, got paid. Sorry. I want to go back yeah, to, yeah. Uh, to watching uh, Boys in the Hood. Oh, yeah. So anyway, so I'm like, it's Black History Month. Let's watch Boys in the Hood. Because mm. the last, I said, the last movie oh. to empathize with black people I saw was Amistad. Yeah. I'm like, I don't need to watch 12 Years a Slave. Yeah. I'm done. You know, no. Django. I watched Django. I went to New Orleans. So I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, I've, I've seen, yeah. you know, the, the the black lives. I'm like, oh, let's watch Boys in the Hood. Yeah. Amazing. If you haven't seen, it, guys, watch Boys in the Hood. Who's it by? Is it that? Is no it, idea. Is I'm it, not good with names. Who's the, the black guy that did? Uh, well, the Spike gu- Lee is it Spike okay, Lee? The, the guy who in the Matrix plays the oh, Morpheus. Morpheus. Yeah. It's the same actor. Still kind of Morpheus. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Sti- like in the sense he well, plays like hello a. Well, there. Yeah. They, they play. He plays the uh, all-knowing yeah. guider, mentor kind of like I'll be there and I'll teach you and here's are the rules of yeah. life. He plays the same role, but it's it's not it's not. I don't know if I told you, Boys in the Hood is not science fiction. It's no. like an actual. Yeah, it's in the world. Yeah, yeah. But he plays the same role. Oh, he he played, but he know he's like a. He's like an old an no, oracle. Oracle knowledge, trying to uh, d- explain the society and. You sure he's yeah. the same guy? He's, is he like? I'm waiting for him to go. Like, do you want? I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> do you want a Jamaican patty? <laughs> <laughs> or do you want? I don't know. I'm trying yeah. to think of black things. Uh, do you want the brown M and M or do you want the orange M and M? Have you ever? Have you ever? Uh, what you had Kentucky Fried Chicken or watermelon? Oh, yeah, this is so Whoa. wrong, <laughs> so wrong. It's a great, it's a great movie. Yeah, I need to watch it. I never seen it. Yeah, I never, I never seen it. I, I like movies where they blatant. You know, like every movie try to ha- tries to have a message, mm-hmm. especially movies. It's not so in this movie. It's very the message is not really hidden. You it's can not, literally yeah. imagine like oh the when they wrote it. There's a scene where it's a father talking to his son and they're fishing. And the father, you know, he's so cool. He's a dad because I'm like, he's trying to, he's raising, a, he's raising a black child Yeah. when there's an epidemic of fathers leaving their kids uh, back then, you know, among the black community. So mm-hmm. we're showcasing the importance of a father uh, to a young man in his young li- life. Yeah. He's like, so they, they go fishing and the father is like, so son, tell me what are the three things to be a leader? He's like, uh, what is it again? Look someone in the eye when you talk to them. Uh-huh. Uh, don't steal. And another one, I forgot. Be but a boy in the hood or whatever. No, but it's like yeah, yeah. it's very serious. Uh, make eye contact with the person you're talking with. Don't steal. It's not worth it. And never respect someone who doesn't respect you. Uh-huh. So these are the rules yeah. of being a leader. But it's not hidden in a metaphor. No. It's literally a father yeah. telling his son, 
And I think the director was hoping like a child would see like, oh yeah, I didn't know yeah. this. Yeah. It's That's very good. blatant. That's great. And straight to the... Because it's supposed to be for everybody, right? Yeah, I think probably the guy who made it, he made it for uh, black youth. That's good. Because that it's, it's, it's full of... Yeah. It's full of uh, like it's full it, of knowledge, blatant knowledge. Yeah, and it's a sad story. It's a sad story. Mm-hmm. So people will like you know feel with it. There's no. It's not a Hollywood ending, really. No. And uh, well, kind of maybe the last three seconds, but whatever. And uh, yeah, so it's just like okay, black youth are gonna watch this. I want to squeeze in as much. I'm gonna showcase their lives, and yeah. I'm gonna squeeze in as much knowledge wow. that they need. It's very well made. I really. Would you watch it's it? A bit, it's a bit cheesy now. Yeah, not on Netflix. Oh, yeah. check it out. It's a bit cheesy now, but I don't think it was cheesy like that. Did you watch that uh, the the greatest night in pop or whatever? Where they're like, "We are the world, we are." I saw the clips, children. and it makes me laugh <laughs> because I just. I, Singers back then, they all hated each other. They're like, they're singing about love and equality, and they're like, we are the way. So Why am I next? To they're like, I'm not gonna sing. Yeah, yeah. it's it's insane. Comics, we kind of like each other. I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't well, we just you. get along. Like yeah. we just we're like, hey, what's up? But musicians, man. Oh, singers. Do I come in the same room as Michael Jackson? I hate that guy. Singers, they just imagine I'm hanging out with you and I'm wearing sunglasses yeah. while we're filming something. Like, <laughs> what do you like? That's Michael Jackson. He would walk in like we're just gonna sing a song, and he's like, yeah. Just oh my god, they hate each other so much. Everyone wants to be like the alpha. Wow. Oh my. God. Don't you didn't, you didn't realize that? I didn't watch the movie. I I don't know if singers hang out with other singers. Oh, oh, what oh, singer oh. friendship do we know? I don't know if there's much. Uh, I don't know. I don't know one singer. Like singer friendship. Oh, singer friendship. Yeah, like we know whose comedian oh. is best friend with who. It's literally oh, their podcast. Friendship? Maybe like Queen and Bowie, but I think they they. Mm. Oh yeah, they were mm. more than that. Mr. Freddie Mercury. Mm-mm. Or what's the game? The guy from the Rolling Stones and like. Uh, Mick Jagger and David Bowie? Yeah. Or like Chuck Berry and uh, John Lennon. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and David Bowie. <laughs> David Bowie. Bang Josh, everybody. Bang everybody. <laughs> That's, I have a book here. Let me show you. I'll show it to you later. It's I got it from when I went to their museum. It's very oh, nice. Oh, cool. Sorry, guys. We interrupt this uh, Goodnight Podcast because we received... An emergency alert. Yeah, Amber uh, Alert. Amber Alert. For those who don't know, that's an Amber Alert in yeah. Montreal. That's what it does. It just stops all your stops phone. stops everything. We had one, I think, yesterday at like 5, 6 oh, o'clock yeah, in the morning. Oh, yeah, I was asleep. Anyone was like, Oh, really? So I want to read this. Okay. And uh, so emergency alert, everybody. Emergency alert. Quebec, on alert. Alert in Quebec. Silver SQ Montergis. Jeanette Dubé. Jeanette Dubé. Wait, what is it? Is there no English version? What the hell? I thought there was. Where? Uh, Jeanette Dubé. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Jeanette Dubé. 70. 70 makes sense that her name is Jeanette Dubé. Yeah, Jeanette Dubé. Uh, Jeanette, there's no... Uh, well, my name is Jeanette. Join my OnlyFans. Yeah. That's just... There's no... <laughs> Jeanette Dubé, 70, has been missing since February 6th at oh. 12.30 p.m. What day is today? The, the 6th. Oh, okay. So she's been missing... Six hours. For six hours. And they're like, let's go. Last seen in Massuville. She would be confused. Look out for a 2012 white BMW Ooh, X3. Oh. J23, blah, blah. J23, TKY, if call, if seen, call 91. Jeanette has a BMW. 10 years old, though. Still. It's not a, bad. It's a X3, it's a yeah, SUV. It's a SUV, big one, nice guy. It's white. She probably has it. Guys, if you want to buy a low mileage <laughs> BMW look X3, for <laughs> look for Jeanette Dubé <laughs> in Massouville. <laughs> Oh, my, imagine this is how you start buying cars. Yeah. Because <laughs> the price of cars are g- is going up so much. Yeah. They're like, oh, wait, this person, oh, this car is going to be on sale soon. And then you go buy it. it Jeanette Dubé doesn't drive. No. Hey, my, I have, my car has a little squeak. It goes, ee, 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 What are you doing inside? <laughs> are you <laughs> greasing my dick? <laughs> uh, no, it, it, like, it goes like anytime the tire goes, it goes, ee, ee. So yeah, you, you probably have a shot ball bearing. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, you know that makes sense. That happened exactly. If me. it start to make that sound, it's yeah, time yeah, to, yeah, I have uh, to bring it. Yeah, 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 because if it messes up the whole thing, Ooh, yeah, yeah. okay, I'm gonna get go. your ball joint out as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's in Quebec. That's the thing that you'll change most about okay. your cars. Yeah, it's pretty. Your ball joint and uh, balls. What? Uh, 
Uh, what the hell? Your uh, your neighborhood is in the news. Why? Park Park X. They're back at it. What? The what cyclists the and the drivers. They're like, they're fighting. Yeah, they're like they were like protests and everything. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. I should have went. Yeah. Well, should have went. Yeah. Which, for which side? Just to go. For, look at me. I'm intimidating. Yeah. You better not say I against the cars. I want to be like Gandhi. You all are all right. Everyone. Not Everyone wants to be Gandhi, but I don't <laughs> think it's easy to be Gandhi. I don't even know what Gandhi did. even Hitler, if you would have asked him, he's like, 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 yeah, yeah, park. you get all the adoration you want, yeah, all of it. Mm -hmm. But people think you're good. Like yeah, everyone yeah. thinks you're good. I'm pretty sure you would have said like, I hope, I wish I had that mental capacity. Yeah, it's not easy to be Gandhi. I think no, it was Especially hard as hell. Skinny, you're very skinny, yeah, and you also can't, you can't prisoned. Be, you can't prison. be fat. No, like you can't be like. Guys, hey. uh, preach. I'm like, sir. <laughs> they look normal. You they ate six chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> chocolate <laughs> come from slaves. I'm not going to trust you. You know what I mean? <laughs> you look just like a no schlubby dude. Like, yeah, no. you cannot. You got to be like, guys. You, you got to be like, look how much I sacrificed. Yeah. His look was very well calculated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the white thing. The white robe. And the glasses. Look, I'm a nerd. You can't. You look like, you know me. the Monopoly, not the Monopoly guy, the Six Flags guy? He's like the black, the, the, the what is it? Gandhi's Indian? Yeah. Indian Six oh Flags God. guy. Didn't he Imagine look? Imagine if the guy Six Flags like guys. I need someone. <laughs> I need a figure that everyone kind of knows and kind of likes. And like my friend, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, Siddharth, oh. you just made <laughs> my day. And he just drew. He, 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 he drew um, the thing is, Gandhi was also a man, right? Yeah. So he probably like, yeah, I want a doggy style. Like he would meet Mother yeah. Teresa. He'd like, I wonder what it. Means. Oh. To bang her, you know, like she's never been banged. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. He's still a man. He still has these yeah, thoughts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he does. Like, oh, take her little hat thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mamma Mia! It'll be funny. Yeah, that'd be. Sex makes you weird these days. No. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know what you're up to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Why? What's up? Because I told you, I finally, I think I figured yeah? it out. I figured out your kink. What's my kink? I figured out the thing that makes. No, you No, what is it? So. If, if anyone brings up anything sexual in front of Gabe or anything that is like a little naughty, like you, you, you made a clip, right? What? About uh, you were in the crowd, uh, you were doing stand up, and someone in the crowd was like 45 and his girlfriend was 28. Yeah. Put it here. Yeah. Anyway, so Gabe, you can see on his face, like, oh, that's. Well, it was oh. at the time. Well, first of all, you don't know the whole story. They were neighbors when they were kids. Uh, no, wait, you added the kids part. They said long. They know each other a long, long, long time, time ago. It, ten years is a long time ago. Yeah, but neighbors. But it's it's you. You. Oh, that's so wrong. But I realize you do that often. Yeah. Where you're like, oh, oh, wow, ew, that's this. That's your kink. Oh, what? You like to attract women who will see this like uh, innocence <laughs> and go like, yeah, you want to. Little innocent oh, boy, no, and you're like, no, oh, oh. Oh. and they're like, no, Yeah, I'm your, no. I'm your, who's your dad now? Because oh. the, the thing is, a man who is this innocent naturalistically is probably a virgin. Oh. Gabe is a playboy who no, has not made sweet, exactly, not anymore, no. but you have made sweet love to, I honestly think, three times as much women as me. Whoa, I have standards, <laughs> but it's. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, so he's a he's a whore. Nah. So that's why I'm like, oh, that's why you fine tune, like your your, you know what I mean? Like you you, like oh, this is exactly <laughs> what attracts me, the woman that I like. Ah, oh, well. Like if I act this way, I'm gonna get a woman or whatever, whatever your kink is. Yeah. Like, okay. Oh, what? A <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Mm, and like secretly, you're enjoying it. I think I nailed you. Uh, okay, all this is untrue. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't so. know how much of this we're gonna keep. No, I'll keep it all. Yeah, it's all good. Because I saw you going, oh, oh, I'm a. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh. I'm moving around, you know, I'm shaking and quaking. Okay, let's uh, do some crowd work. <laughs> hey, so uh, how do you feel about the doing the, the podcast standing up? It's good. Yeah, I'm actually like, if I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. I, I like. We some. are out of shape. Yeah, it's okay. Drink some uh, limon. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have it here. Oh, dude, I want to see. I'm trying to eat healthier, okay? Okay. So I bought I bought a couple of food that I haven't eaten in a long time. I'm okay. like, oh, I used to eat this when I was healthy. This, we're drinking Limonata de Cecilia. I got yeah. this, okay? I'm like, oh, oh. I'm going to give it to Gabe. I think he might like it. Yeah, it's good. This is from Italia. Yeah. It's made in Italia. Yeah, Sicilia. It's probably in the old country. So the <laughs> ingredient, look at this. Water, uh, uh, lemon juice, sugar, lemon, pulp, 
citric acid, absorbic acid, carbon dioxide, and natural flavoring. Okay, it's not There's that much nothing shit. in there. No. This is Nothing. so yeah, such e- a natural yeah. water sugar. Even little, bubbly has like tons of more crap in there. I bet. I don't know what bubbly has, but like, this is food. Mm-hmm. This is calories, and it's honestly not that no, bad. Like no. the ingredients. Yeah. So I'm gonna Actually, go get no. something. What are you gonna get? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get it. Wait. Okay. So I've been trying to <laughs> wait. Uh, uh, oh. I'm, I've been trying to eat healthier. Yeah. And like, I need something like of a dessert that is healthy. Yeah. So I'm gonna buy yogurt. Okay. I'm buy yogurt. Okay, this I buy yogurt because I remember I was eating it when I was young and I enjoyed the sweetness, like the fruit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, yogurt. What can be in the yogurt? Yogurt. Yeah. And and uh, fruit. Fruit. Yeah. Fruit puree. That's it. Yeah. Dude, I'm eating it right. And I Is look. Is that the ingredients? Look at the list of ingredients. What? What happened? It's the to whole yogurt? pack. Like when I was young, it was like three, four things. It was yogurt and and uh, spoon. That was <laughs> it. Skim milk. Fine. Milk permeate. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Sugar, water, raspberry puree, cream, modifying cornstarch. Why is there cornstarch? Yeah, starch? why is there cornstarch in there? I don't know. Whey protein, okay. Yeah. Natural and artificial flavor, active bacterial culture, potassium sorbate, amaranth, <laughs> lemon juice concentrate. May contain gelatin and milk protein. Maybe why is it so long? It must be to preserve it. Because the there's, bio- there's like living organisms in yogurt, yeah. right? Maybe it's to keep them alive. Is it a probiotic? I, I'm gonna go see if I can find like an expensive one. I'm gonna yeah. compare the list because this is like that's oh, a lot that's of a regular things. one. It's not like it doesn't have like probiotics. No, it's just a regular yogurt yeah. with this uh, raspberries and vanilla. That's bizarre. Isn't that bizarre? Yeah, they well, must maybe make it's cheap quality yogurt. Yeah, I have no idea. They must make like so much yogurt that the only way they can like keep it preserved is by like encasing it in like. A million ingredients that just solidifies it into what it is for a while, so it just stays in a in I a think container. It's the texture. I yeah. think you're looking when when you eat a good yogurt, you you don't want it to run down your spoon. You want it to yeah. just hold perfectly. And I'm assuming, but you you don't want it to taste like a mm. like s- cheese. Yeah, I you guess. want so, it to just be so yogurt. The corn starch yeah. takes something liquidy, makes uh, thicker, without adding mm. actual good thing for your food. Corn starch is not it's nothing. It's I don't think it's anything that is good for you. No, no, or no. bad for you. It's just it's. Yeah. Starch. So it's it's Corn. weird. I'm disappointed. Yeah. Like everything, there's a hierarchy. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go get like hundred percent natural, it's gonna cost ten dollars. Yeah. It's gonna be just two or three ingredients. That's it. I know. I think the best you can get is like uh Greek yogurt that has like nothing in it. And, and hair. Like, just <laughs> yeah. You open it and you're like, What? Is that a is that, are these blueberry? Blackberries? <laughs> Blackberries. What? what is this spider legs? Dingleberries. <laughs> is this spider legs? What, what's this black thing? <laughs> There must have been for a longest time hair in yeah. Greek yogurt. There's no way. <laughs> no. It's like when you eat. It's like when you eat a pomegranate. Okay. It's a pain to eat a pomegranate yeah, because yeah, of the yeah, seeds. Yeah. yeah. But the taste is so good. You like it's worth it. Uh huh. I guess b- up to like a hundred years ago, eating Greek yogurt, you're like, yeah. oh, there's hair. But what do you want me to do? It's, yeah, yeah. It's so good. What do you want me to do? I live with the hair sometimes. You know, Costa drops his chest yeah. hair and my I'm just gonna have to live with it. <laughs> like the seeds on a fruit, you know, it's that's that was a sacrifice to pay. Yeah. Was there a Lebanese yogurt? Yeah. Or Arabic yogurt yogurt? Yeah, I don't remember eating a lot of yogurt as a as a young man. I remember eating Lebne. It's like a thicker yogurt, it's like Whoa. a cheese. Oh like it's like a cream cheese, but like ah. a Lebanese cream oh. cheese called Lebne. You know there's a pita? Yeah. Ooh. There's uh PA makes its own cream cheese now. Ooh. PA supermarket. Uh huh. They probably sell it to other. Stores. It's called Ilios. They, Ilios. They make so they make all sorts of products now and send them to other grocery stores because okay. it's like cheaper. It's all, all just made like, like yeah. in I don't know. It's cheaper, and it's pretty good. You might like it. Is it as good as Liberty cream cheese back in the day? I don't know. I don't. Liberty I don't, I don't, I don't know. Cheese, man. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was the taste of freedom. Yeah, yeah. It was the right name for that cream cheese. Yeah, Liberté it's, was good. It's crazy. That's how. That's why you need multiculturalism. Because you need I- Italian cream cheese yeah. on a Jewish bagel. Yeah. And then you get the best thing ever. Yeah. You, know? oh. you, you understand? Yeah. Like up to the invention of cream cheese. I don't know if the Jews make cream cheese. I don't know. But uh. I know I know the Italians or people who make Liberty cream cheese, yeah. they perfected it. Yeah. I, I think like French people make a lot of like uh, dairy products too. Yeah. Like, or French Whatever. and Quebec people. Y- if you, you know, I guess, you know, they eat it with like liver back before the invention. Oh, yeah. Of just liver. Yeah. Just... Jewish <laughs> stuff. <laughs> this. You know what I mean? And then the Jews like, oh, you know what? This would need a, a, a thick amount of butter and freaking yeah. cream cheese. Oh, I love it. Yeah. But no. Yeah. 
Hey, did you see online uh, Trump posted a... Uh, I think Trump has the best campaign I've ever seen of any like, candidate. He's dropping a special? No. <laughs> it's, he posted a picture. It was ha- ha- it was like a picture of his face, but half his face was cut. One side was his face, and then the other side was Elvis. Whoa. And he was like, a lot of people have been telling me that I look like Elvis, and I agree. I think I look exactly like Elvis. They, they say I'm as handsome as Elvis. And it's just a picture of him, and it's making... All everybody just go insane, being like, "How oh, he people are saying Biden is insane, Trump is even more insane. He thinks he looks like Elvis." I'm like, dude, it's just funny. It's just so funny. You, you know what? If if you want Trump to lose, dear liberals, you must grow a sense of humor. Yeah, a little bit. You must look at this and see the humor in it, because if you just get angry, yeah, th- the people who are pro Trump and laughing at this. They're gonna vote for him more. They're gonna be like, like, dude, how clearly uh, yeah, you're stupid. It's, <laughs> so yeah. clearly I'm right in voting. So you must have like, okay, this is funny. You must give him something from time yeah. to time. Or humanize it, yeah. him so you can beat him. If you don't yes. make him a human, if you make him always always wrong, yeah. you're, you're making like you're creating a fake entity that doesn't exist. You have to have a sense of humor. Liberals, LGBTQ, <laughs> yeah, guys. add F at the end for funny, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> LGBTQ Be funny <laughs> And trust me You'll get everything you need Oh that's amazing That's so great and See the humor Have a sense of that's humor so SF <laughs> As I Have a sense Because they're funny But have a sense of humor As well To laugh at jokes That you don't agree with Yeah Wow Like I have a joke now I'll post it in the podcast Because I okay. don't think I'll post it by It's own. the The bagel one. The what? The bagel one Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah don't make a short with this. No, no, I thought you were going to do the one where, like, the Arabs and the Jews get together and there was an anti-LGBT mar- uh, thing. No, 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 no. Okay. no the, the joke, well, I told you, is that the hole in the bagel, they removed it. What happens is that the hole identified as Gaza, so the bagel just took over. Uh-huh. And this usually gets 30% of the crowd laughing really, really yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. the other 40, everyone enjoys it. Yeah. Everyone will remember it. They like it, it yeah. But only a few will... Let they won't like it's like a burp. They'll yeah, they'll hold it. They'll hold the burp hold instead, of burp. <laughs> just, instead of burping. Yeah, yeah. So some Jews like my friends, <laughs> damn, need to <laughs> grow a sense of you. I can't just do jokes about the Palestinians. Yeah, Jews, <laughs> Jews. I can't make jokes about the Palestinians. I can and Palestinians. I can't make jokes only about Jews. I need to make jokes about everyone equally. God damn, it's a stupid joke. Yeah, no, it's funny. Um, but anyway, I'm, I look forward to this uh, election cycle. I hope I'm alive for it. It'll be you great. Work? This this election election yeah. cycle. I'm very excited. Very. I'm gonna get back into news and politics. Finally, white news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In white news, Gabriel Gabriel finally <laughs> watches the news because <laughs> 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 they're white again. <laughs> I deleted my uh, Reddit news for the longest time. I deleted Twitter for the longest time. I was I remember it in 2020. Yeah, you're like, oh, Mahmoud, uh, Ariel. <laughs> Uh, who are these I people? I don't understand And then he saw Donald and Joe <laughs> and Jesus and White. <laughs> Whitey McQuireson. You're like, I'm going to subscribe <laughs> to Reddit News again. Finally. <laughs> They're speaking my language. Well, I, I didn't delete it because of the brownification of yes. society. No, I deleted it because I was so stressed during... Uh, it was 2020. Why? So I don't care about these people so much. <laughs> I was so stressed out during uh, 2020's election cycle. Yeah. I was like on edge the whole time. I I, I was like, oh, why? Th- because it was all like it was stolen, and I was like, for some reason, I was so involved. I was like, why don't they just stop it? Just stop it, everybody. And I deleted Reddit. I remember when I because you were worried it will affect you. I don't know. I was just was so consumed you have to by remember. it. Remember. I was it consumed. doesn't matter and yeah. you don't matter. But you you know how you got depressed and all that stuff? Yeah, because it's my people. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I, I'm watching. people who, who I made eye contact with, who yeah. I live life with, you know? Yeah, 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 I know. I see my brothers and sisters yeah. over there. Yeah, but also whatever you said to me about I don't matter, you don't matter then. Of course. Yeah. But it's still, yeah, I empathize more. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just more conflict. I just was scared. You, you, no. And I have a... Uh, I'm scared because people are dying. I, I'm yeah. sad. I'm depressed because people are dying. You're scared because it, how it will affect your life here. Yeah. If they yeah. all die, it will affect my life very sadly, but yeah. I'll be completely okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anything happens here, it will. Aff- it might affect you directly. It's yeah, different. Maybe. You understand? Like yeah. if, if the Middle East, just everyone, there's everyone drops a nuclear bomb and they all die. Yeah. I mean that also that, that's very life changing. I still have coffee. Yeah, but it's like there'll be some sort of backlash. 
what if they say, okay, okay, guys, we need to stop? They're all like, they're, no one's fighting anymore. They're just yeah. and it's quiet oh, wow. all of a sudden. Yeah. I will be sure. sad, like, oh, damn, they did it. They killed themselves. Whoa. <sighs> Woo. All right, let's uh, fucking. I think I would be on watch edge. Watch Boys in the Hood. Like, like yeah. I'd be, be like sad a little. But I'd be on edge for a week. I'd be like, oh, yeah, geez. but then. Just, if there was no backlash. Life goes back. Like, if <sighs> you're like, oh, yeah, exactly. Like, oh, okay, guys, that's it. This is so bad. We're not doing war ever yeah. again. Yeah. Like, even if you're like, oh, it doesn't really affect me. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I'm here. But if, let's say, someone starts. Bo- that's why the 9 11, mm-hmm. I talk about it so much because it was the first time. There's something horrible yeah. happened here yeah, in the yeah. new world since they killed the natives. Mm. Oh, <laughs> really? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the last time. Like, yeah. it was the first time. Like, oh, no, in my lifetime, our Pearl Harbor yeah. is this. It happened to us. I think I shut off from it because I, I, I'm really, really sensitive to, like, all that out- outward yeah. whatever. Yeah. So I had to, like, stop it. And now and then I have to, like, just close myself off. Even things – I can't watch Joe Rogan anymore because he f- every episode freaks me out. And, and I know it's supposed to be entertainment. He had, like, some lady on about, like, inter – Shane. In- Gillis. Yeah, yeah, some hot some lady. Hot, <laughs> <retarded lady. laughs> About interdimensional aliens, and I got like so nervous. I'm like, yeah. wait a minute, is this like real? Like, is this this lady at her yeah. PhD is Who a cares re- if it's real? I don't know. I, 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 Dude, you're 40. How yeah, old are you? you're, you're 30, 30. Yeah, and nothing bad has ever happened to you ever. I know, but I, that's all I think. You know. Who the hell knows? But nothing. And you've I done don't know. so many stupid things. Yeah, it's true. You've done more stupid things than anyone I know. That's yeah. why you have cool stories. Yeah, it's true. So just shut the fuck up. I know. It will be fine. Something. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. No That's more, it. No more conversation. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> go back to reading <laughs> ingredients. That's the difference between your life and life. <laughs> Let's go back to reading. That's how I know I'm 40. Like, Ooh, look at the ingredients. They're so healthy. Dude. While I drink a soda. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, I've been thinking about like um, not my past, but Fucking like dick. <laughs> I, I'm thinking uh, one of the reasons, like one of the main reasons, is w- why I w- if I w- the reason I want to get famous, yeah, is because I want to I want my old elementary school to invite me back for like a like a talk, you know, yeah. like oh my god, the big uh, the the big comedian guy. Yeah. I remember um, Otis Grant came to my high school. Otis Grant? Yeah. He's like a boxer that won like the Olympics oh, and he's I from Montreal. It was the guy who does the Otis elevators. You know, it's Otis, an Otis, Ele- Otis uh, brand elevators. I'm like the elevator guy. <laughs> the elevator guy. Yeah. Came to your school like, yeah. oh, I make elevators and everyone's like, ah. <laughs> "Oh my god, I used an elevator today." School's <laughs> school's guy. <laughs> Yeah, and he told me. He told me you reach for the star. I took it literally, <laughs> and I, I built. Uh, <laughs> I built an elevator. This is. You gotta, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, you should. Yeah, it would be nice. You have your Denzel. Oh. You're standing up, and you yeah. tell kids all these young minds like, guys, this is, this is what you need to do in life. Yeah, yeah. I, I do that. Uh, yeah. Well, on my phone, trying to teach them English. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm so bad sometimes. Uh yeah. So, what would you tell them? Imagine they're listening. Okay. Oh, what what would I actually there's tell kids them right now? There's five year old kids. Oh my god. I uh, I wouldn't. Don't be, go to any islands. I wouldn't be able to tell any children anything. I, I would have to talk to like twenty five. So you just want to be respected. You know, it's not going to be the same students. No, I I literally <laughs> meant I literally the, the people who bullied you. They're not in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, hey, cool. Hey, kid. I'm cool now. I told you I'm cool. <laughs> they're not. They left school. No, there's not, nothing to do with that. I, mm-hmm. No one bullied me. <laughs> no one bullied. I was totally. I was. I was kind of a bully, but uh, I wasn't really a bully. I was kind of like a. No, you were you. Yeah, I, yeah, I bet I, you were exactly like I was like pretty this. much exactly like less wise. Yeah, and uh, what would I say? I wouldn't be able to talk to little kids because I'd be like, just show up, uh, just kick a ball. The ball's really hard, and uh, do do math. There's and you th- want to do that? No, I just really. I just wanted to. Cause you know who I hate? I hated the school. I liked okay. the, the students. Yeah. I hated the school, and that's yeah. why I would be like school is this because the school is literally. Yeah. It's like the teachers are all the the principals and the nurse is like disgusting. The the drama teacher sucks. You know, like. Did you have one teacher that you like that guy, or like or that lady? She that's. Oh, it good. Made all that garbage that come with school worth it not in high school maybe there's like one or two probably teachers that are really cool yeah but like not cool but like okay that's the guidance i need as a young person. no not in high not school. even not one not in high school no damn no. man no everybody yeah. was in yeah. school yeah everyone's an asshole. one teacher yeah. like this and you know it's perfect because he's black it's black history man yeah his name i'm not gonna say his name but he was the first guy i'm like this guy is cool yeah he he was black mm-hmm. okay and he was 
very Denzel E. Washington y kind of. Yeah. You know, he's, he, he had, yeah, yeah, charisma. He had charisma. He had presence to him. You yeah. know, he was a fantastic orator. Mm-hmm. He, he was teaching French. Also, biggest rebel. He's like, yeah, you know, the director doesn't want me to do this, but we're gonna do it anyway, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're trying to, you know, get in my office because they saw that I had, you know, these books. But we're going to do whatever Whoa. we want because we're rebels, guys. You that's have to cool. be a rebel in life. Wow. You have to respect yourself. Like the whole, I'd be like, that's. That's, that's cool. Yeah. No, we drove a Jaguar, it. apparently. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. No, he had Jaguar. He had a Jaguar, like uh-huh. a two door. Listen, some people said I think he was stooping a student in a previous school. Yeah. Maybe Sto- that's true. Stooping. I like that. Maybe, maybe that's true. He he banged a seventeen year old. I'm not sure. Yeah. But however, as a teacher, he was fantastic. We he had really a, we, taught me yeah. how to do like this. We had a drama teacher that the rumor was that so th- that he was having sex with a student, right? Ooh. And it was always a rumor, always a rumor. Then I worked at this company for a bit, and then the, the we were like having a conversation. It was like me and like some like the one of the salesmen, and he I I told him like I went to that high school, and he's like, no way that in that high school one of the teachers had sex with my now fiance, and he and she finally revealed it to me, and I was so upset. I wanted to go, and he, and it really screwed her up. And like she, it was like a, I think she was like I guess it's. I it's guess, probably yeah, yeah whatever it is whatever that situation yeah. is i don't know even if it was or not right Whoa. and she was like 15 or something you know like high she school child. and he was like 30s and then uh he was like so upset and freaked out about it the the, the fiance the fi- like the dude Whoa. like he was like oh my god and, and cause what I, happened because uh, uh, the the I, we, like when he was uh, the teacher in my school mm-hmm. it's just that he left uh, and then people were saying this, so he, we found he, out afterwards. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. No, he never got caught. Okay. And you, your your teacher never got no, caught. No, no, never. No, no, no. no. And she, just... I think she would like became like kind of like an alcoholic. And then, not, but now I think her life is all cleaned up now. Okay. She's all happy. But but f- during a period of time, she was going through a lot of like stress. And we should do an episode where we confront this guy. No. <laughs> we go. So gonna get take you down you bro know who, you know who he is yeah yeah can, yeah, yeah. Like, if you saw him on the street yeah 100 like, hey, yeah, yeah 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 100 percent. whoa yeah i don't want to go from him no i'm just joking i'm joking he's, pro- I, I get he's, no, he's probably retired i don't want to <laughs> no he's not he's like he's still teaching i think he's like 48 oh yeah it's true he was 30 it's like 18. yeah oh wow god damn yeah maybe someone should confront him i know he works too is it still the same school? Uh, they didn't move them like C- priests. He's in Egypt now. Because priests, they move them. <laughs> yeah, well, there's, there's teachers no teachers are like ah, we, there's not enough teachers. <laughs> <laughs> the English Montreal School Board doesn't is. Uh, well. the, con- I think they condone it actually. <laughs> Do you have any stories about a female teacher? Because uh, I know one guy. Yeah, tell me, tell me, I'm tell me. I'm not gonna say his name. Oh, uh, okay, okay. No, I didn't say any names. That he told me, his teacher. I think in their high school, uh, that's cool. And dude, if you remember how horny you were, how would yeah. you feel if like a teacher in her third, oh, like, a woman I would be like, whoa, who yeah. knows? Like I, I, she read the Kama Sutra. She's I've been banging <laughs> since I was fifteen. I've been doing great. <laughs> yeah, I find you and she bangs you. How would you feel? I would be blowing loads all over my own face. It's you would be it's crazy, blowing, right? sucking my own cum down. I don't think. Will it, you think it will affect you negatively? Uh, I don't know. I I have no idea. Because all I thought about back then when I was fifteen it's is like I had boners every oh. class ever. I had a boner. I would literally be. My we're pencil case. We're so old. We're reminiscing about boners. <laughs> Welcome. You're 40. I just decided. <laughs> reminiscing about boners. I get good Not boners. sex. Boners. I get boners. Yeah. I wake up with boners. I do sometimes. Yeah. Um. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Once, here's a story, sort of, like in a drama class. Yeah. More drama? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, th- did you hear Justin Trudeau uh-huh. was a drama teacher yeah. and he... Did he? One of his students? In blackface. No. <laughs> but he, ba ba bam, a student. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. That's cool. Let's, uh, let's talk about that. Okay, what? Fa- about the fact that he. I, bum, bada, bing. I don't know. This is new? Yeah. Okay, so here's how I found out, okay? So you had the, that room where like politicians go, meh, meh, to each other. Yes, it's like the parliament. Yeah. The parliament. There was Justin Trudeau. He was criticizing negatively 
Pierre Olivier Ooh. by saying, "Oh, you're a lifelong politician. What do you know, politician? You're a you're a lifelong politician. What do you know about life? Yeah, in uh, in outside the, the halls of politics, you can you know talk about how people are." And then Pierre Olivier is like, "Yes, it's true. I've been a politician, a servant to this country for all my life. Yeah. I know you were a drama teacher, but mm. you had to quit. I just can't remember oh. why." And then black guy showed up oh. behind them and they're like, "Oh!" Oh, 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 mic drop. <laughs> he just bam. Damn. 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 Right there, like, that song from uh, I think Dr. Dre. Da 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 da. It's a mother- oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mother- and they just do the grip walk. Yeah. That's Dude, great. That's a burn. Wow. That's, that's great. Up. Did anybody react like that, or was it like? I just said there was a bunch. You know, like the meme where black guys are. They all went crazy like that. No, this is where they filmed it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see like all these nerds going like, "Yes." <laughs> well, it's like a it's risky joke. So some people yeah. are going like, "Bam!" But it's like a political risky mm-hmm. joke. I'm pretty sure his side. I like, didn't know oh, that oh, happened. Oh. That's crazy. Oh, you gotta watch it because not a lot of people know that apparently he. Bow, 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 Damn. With, a, with well, a student. Maybe it'll come up in society. Right now, guys. <laughs> yeah, right now, right, right now. now. Um. Uh. Okay. Cur- well, I guess one more thing before we go. Oh, that's uh, it. Well, we we're about to do an hour. Okay. And I need to get to the nest. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be so late. But um, curb enthusiasm is back. Okay. And uh, do you like? I feel like everything I say, you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. it's, it's not my. I, I, <laughs> you don't like Curb? I watched the first couple of seasons. What? You don't like Curb? Okay, uh, but I like Curb, but it's just I don't have it. I don't have HBO. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. And okay. if I, I never, watch something, I have to go online. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Things. I'm like, okay. okay, so there's a character in Curb called Mo- Marty Funkhauser. He's he's uh, acted by uh, this guy named Bob Einstein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. He, he's dead yeah. now. He's dead. Oh, yeah, he's died okay. for a few. Years. He was he so lives. so so funny. He had like so there's one season of Seinfeld. It was about ten years ago. It was the sign. Um, Curb Enthusiasm. It was a Seinfeld reunion. Yeah, they did it in Curb Enthusiasm, and Marty Funkhauser meets Seinfeld for the first time. And have you seen this video? Ah, yeah. oh, you're seeing his shit. I okay. don't remember it. Okay, 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 okay. I remember seeing it. Uh, and it, 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 and so imagine like approaching Jerry Seinfeld with a joke. You'd be like so nervous. Right? But this guy did not care at all. I know they're both like comedians, but in the show, he's playing like a. He's playing like a civilian, right? And uh, I wish I memorized the joke so I can tell it here. <laughs> oh, I, thought you I know, I know, I know. I literally was thinking like, do I remember the joke? <laughs> I love it. Because I was watching it earlier today. I was like, I need to memorize it. I'm like, damn, this joke is like three, four minutes long. <laughs> God. Okay, I'll, okay, okay, okay. I, I, the I, I, lack of preparation. <laughs> I know. I, okay, I know. I know the joke. It's uh, so uh, a, a young married couple g- uh, get married, right? And they're uh, and 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 the, um, the 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 woman that that's getting married is very insecure about having sex because she was a virgin, never had sex yeah. before. She's afraid that her like vagina won't be satisfying enough for this the, the husband the mother said here's some advice take some uh like chicken liver and like uh wrap it up and attach it downstairs in your va- your vagina yeah. and when he goes down there he'll be satisfied and and be really really enjoy and love it and so it's their wedding night and they had sex and then she wakes up the next day and the husband is gone but there's a note next to her right and on the note says oh my god that last night was so amazing i can't wait to be in your embrace once again i'm so uh, in love with you i'm off to work now to like make lots of money so i can buy a nice beautiful house and have a dog and have lots of babies yeah. and the whole time jerry seinfeld's like oh my god this is great this is like the greatest joke and uh lots of babies all that stuff right and he and he writes at the end uh p.s your c- is in the sink <laughs> i know that's the joke <laughs> i kind of did know the joke <laughs> you got it <laughs> Well, guys, thank you so much <laughs> for watching our first standing up podcast. Yeah. Well, would you do it again? Yeah. I found we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Energetic. You know, and that's my sports. That's it. I can just go back to lie on my sofa now. That's yeah. It. We did sports, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Subscribe. Tell your friends. We love you. I love you, Eugene. 